Today we learned new details about the last days of Elizabeth Edwards' life. In her final hours, she was surrounded by the people she loved most. Her son Jack, just 10 years old, daughters Emma Claire, 12, and Kate, 28. Also there, her estranged husband John and a handful of close friends, including Jennifer Palmieri, who spoke about Edwards' children. To say that she prepared them for her death, I don't think it's really correct. I think she, what she wanted to do was prepare them to live a good life. Edwards was determined that her last days with her children be joyful. She was able to have normal, uh, you know, good night mom, going to, you know, come and give her kids go to school. It was not a sad place. Um, if, uh, if you can imagine that. Elizabeth Edwards knew she would only have a few years with her young children, as she told Katie Couric in 2007, right after Edwards learned her cancer had returned. I, I've often said that the, the most important thing you can give your children um, are wings, because you're not, they're, you're not going to always be able to bring food to the nest. You're, sometime they're going to have to be able to fly by themselves. Although a successful lawyer in her own right, Edwards built her life around her children. When her 16-year-old son, Wade, died in a car accident, both she and John quit practicing law and turned to politics and public service. If you want universal health care plan, who do you trust to actually get it done? And for the sake of her children, Edwards put aside her anger at her husband's well-known infidelity, as she told Nate Berkus in her last televised interview. I see the father of my children, and that's very, it's really important to me. You know, particularly since I have a terminal disease, this is the person at some point who will take over the primary parenting. Elizabeth Edwards' funeral will take place here Saturday at the family church in Raleigh. She will be buried at a cemetery next to her son, Wade. Elaine Quijano, CBS News, Raleigh, North Carolina.